So this is another one of our woodwick candles that we're testing. Um, these do take a lot of testing because compared to cotton wicks, you get a lot of different variations with these wooden wicks. You can get them so they are um, various different widths, various different lengths, but also some of them actually you get doubled up. So this is this is one of them. As you can see, it's just all it is. There's nothing special. It's just a piece of wood, you know, a, th a thin piece of wood. But um, you have to make sure you get the right sizes for the candles because um, depend on the container size, the, the, the width depends on the melt pool. Now we, we seem to have we've done a number of tests with this particular wick and it is performing quite well. As you can see, it's a it's a lovely, lovely sized flame, um, a nice melt pool, a lovely scent throw. Um, but if it was a bit too, if the wick, if we felt the wick was a bit too small, then what you can do is either get a wider wick or you can actually get them so they're doubled up. So basically it's, it's two of them stuck together. Simple as that really. Um, and then they just come in these little, you just clip them into these little metal sustainers here and then you put a little sticky tab on and stick them to the bottom. And another good thing about these wooden wicks is that um, they don't need a, um, you don't need to have a centering device. So if that's your container, normally with a cotton wick you have to put it in, then you have to, you, you put this, you put the cotton wick in and then you have to put something in place to, to hold it in, to, 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 to hold it there. So it could be a centering device or it could be what we've got here, um, like lolly sticks. But um, the wooden ones, they just, um, they, they basically stand up on their own. So, you know, it, it makes things quicker as well. But also what we really love about these wooden wicks is there's that really nice faint crackling noise and you can see it's a wide flame. I mean, it just looks really nice. And as well as this, we have pulled out the candles in our new jars that we're thinking about using. So we've got two different types here. Um, we've got this nice round one here, which um, in our Facebook group, we, we, put, we asked for people's opinion and this was by far the most popular choice. And then this is more of like a standard jam jar type container. So we're going to test these later on. These again, I'll just quickly open that for you. These will have our wooden wicks in. They will be testing and um, we'll see how they go later on. As well as that, today has also been a, um, a bit of a mammoth pod making day. We, um, as I mentioned earlier, we've got lots of pods to make and get out. And that's something that Tim has been working on here. You can see there's a few different ones here, just drying off and setting. Some more over here and um, some more happening. So this is our process at the moment. Carefully measuring out how much goes in. We won't put you off, don't worry Tim. <laughs> I'm concentrating. And these here are just cooling down to the right temperatures before we put them into our piston funnels and then and then pour them into the pods. Lots of in pods have been poured this morning and some of our new candles as well. These are our new wooden wick candles. And so far we have Lily the Valley Pods, English Pear and Freesia, Ocean Breeze, Juicy Orange, Wild Mint, Chocolate Orange and Dark Temptation. Lots of pods were made yesterday as well, as you can see on my big table here. Lots and lots. These are all ready to, for us to pop the CLP labels on the bottom later. So what we'll do is we'll count them all up, make a chart of how many we need. And I'll get Paul to print them all off and then we'll stand there and stick lots and lots of stickers on. That'll take us quite a while. On the other side of the table, we've started taking our new candles. They look gorgeous, don't they? All nice and colourful. We've got a few of various different scents. Some we need to cut the wick off, which is our next job to do. But Paul's doing something quite interesting today. What are you up to today, Paul? 
So these are the car fresheners that I'm currently working on. What a long line there. Well, yeah, this one in this only two of them. This is all in the making. I think there's about 150 in total. Wow. Um, and it's tricky, it's very thin because they're so small. So, as you can see, that at the moment is we need to do just put the, the base oil, which is what the fragrance oil will mix with, um, and then that will give the nice centro. And if you look at these, actually, this is obviously the top which screws on. And you can see that it's like a wooden cork. And the way this work works is once it's screwed on, you will you get instructions with these as well. But you'll basically tip it ever so slightly just to soak that oil. Uh, sorry, soak the cork with oil. But you have to be very careful because there are holes in this, and this will just seep out. So you have to be really, really careful. We've learned that the hard way, haven't we? Oh yes, you got covered, didn't you? I did. <laughs> <laughs> And then once this is hanging somewhere or using the vent clip, that will then act like a reed diffuser and just disperse, dispense the oil, disperse the um, fragrance. Are they as strong as our wax melts though? Uh, no. no, 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 of course not. Because they're, because they're so small, I mean, you look at them, there's only like five, six, seven millilitres of liquid in there once it's filled up. Um, whilst we use the same fragrance oil and the same, and these are highly scented as well, we use the most amount we can with the oil, so it'll be 25%, 25 to 30%. It, they, they of course won't be as strong because they work, they work differently. Um, the wax melts, when they are melted down, the heat disperses all of the fragrance oil all at once. Um, whereas these act like a reed diffuser, so it's just it's soaked into the cork and then it's, it's just sort of emitted into the air. So of course they're not going to be as strong. But they, you know, we've tested them ourselves. Your parents have tested one for us, yes. and they um, they work really well, don't they? So they do. So this well, is going to be me for the day. It is. We better let you get on to some work then. Thank you very much. So we've just finished recording this week's mixology video, which you've probably seen already by the time you see this video, and it was how to make um, cinnamon donut scented wax melts, which was really nice, wasn't it? It was a gorgeous. Cool, I'd love to test that one. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's Friday afternoon. We're now just finishing pack and packaging up a load of orders before the postman arrives. So there's a nice stack here, all ready to go. Um, and you're just uh, packing up some of some of our luxury wax melt boxes, aren't you? I am, yeah. Goodbye, we'll get one freeze. Yeah, we've got our pile of clean and fresh boxes and our pile of family favourite boxes. Now each box has got four scents in, and they're some of our most popular scents. And on, you can see on the top on the bottom how what's in them. So we've got spring awakening, fresh linen, wild mint and aloe vera and cucumber and clean and fresh, which is a lovely box. And our most popular one is got baby powder, peony and blush, black cherry and blueberry and vanilla. These are a fantastic way to try out a few of our scents. Yeah, we find that a lot of brand new customers who have never tried this before, they'll, they'll give these a go first, um, just to see what they are like before they then purchase the larger pods, which are obviously these ones. Um, yeah, so there's, still, there's, there's a few orders here to go. And around here we've got halfway through production of making some more of these boxes. But yeah, it's Friday afternoon. We'll get these packaged up and then it'll be on the wind down, ready to um, produce some content and do some work over the weekend, ready yes. for Monday. So this week, this, this vlog this week has been a lot shorter than normal and not as not as good actually um we you know the reason for that is because both of our phones decided that they would break this week so um and that's what we used to record these on but um you've probably noticed that when we've cut to this clip that this one is a bit better quality that's because we now have new phones which were delivered today weren't they which is quite exciting <laughs> so this is the first segment that i've recorded on this this new phone and it um it looks quite nice quite good quality but anyway that's boring anyway so <laughs> Right, have a good weekend, everybody, and we will see you in next week's episode. Yep, see you next week. Bye.